Oh, hi, great to see you again. Welcome to day two of Crowns and Crowds. We're having such fun, it's good to have you with us. Do you know what? It's time for a crown check. I'm sporting a new little one here. I love to recycle. I managed to find some old bits of pillowcases and I tore them up and did a nice plait and the flowers come from my mothering Sunday presents. Oh, I love this hat. What's yours looking like? I see some photographs of people, people have sent us. You've made it out of what? Wow, that was really clever. I bet you feel really great in that hat. Do you know what we've been doing today? We thought we'd get out in the garden and have a bit of fun. I'm going to show you what we've been doing, but shall we do our motto action song? Are you ready, everybody? First of all, stay safe. Make sure you've got a bit of space to do it. You might have a little bit of space. You might have a lot of space. Are you ready? One, two, three. Crowds run free. Four, five, six. Crowns are fixed very fast. One, two, three. Crowds run free. Four, five, six. Crowns are fixed. Brilliant. seen bar anywhere because I've just spotted something on this palm branch that was yesterday's story. It's got a label on it and it says, Dear Bar, I thought this compass might come in useful to help you find your way. Anyone would think the bar keeps getting lost. I'm not quite sure I know what a compass is. Do you know what a compass is? Let me open it up. Ooh. Ooh. Looks a bit like a watch, but ooh, there's some arrows that swing round. I hope I find out what that is one day. I need to find Bar, so I'm going to start looking. Bar, Bar, what? Ah, uh, I can't see him. Come on, Ellie, let's go and find Bar. Bar, what are you doing on that donkey? I found something for you. I'd like you to see what we've done today. Have a little look. We've been doing some garden art. We've used bits of twigs and painted them. And we've got some pretend palm branches. And we've made some heads out of bits of wool we found. We've got a crowd of sticks. And the donkey from yesterday. I loved that story. And there's some words here. Ellie, do you want to read it for us? It says, see if you can sound it out. Welcome. Ooh. Welcome, Jesus. And there's a fantastic crown. Hmm. Have a look down our fence. Um, Bart, did you check with Vicar David that we were allowed to paint his fence? You did? I hope you did. Oh, well, we can always paint over it. Have a look, everybody. There's a really long road. We're going to start off at the beginning with welcome. I don't know what happens next, and next, and next. Bar says he thinks he's got an idea about what happens next. You want everyone to find out. The story today might help. Have a sit there. Ellie, sit with Bar. Well, do you know, I think it's time for us to go and wash our hands and oh, before we go, I want to show you something. Come with me. Something else we painted. Come on Paddington. Big Bear, you sit there for a bit. We've made another rainbow. I thought that every day we could make something to hang in this tree. If you've got a, a garden with some trees in, you could perhaps have some things outside. Let us know if you've got anything like that. This is going to sparkle in the wind. Well, it's time for us to go and wash our hands. We're going to wash our hands and you can go in and watch another special animation made just for you. This one's called, oh Paddington knows, this one is called Jumping Jelly Babies and it's made by Vicar David. Paddington says he ate all the jelly babies at the theatre last night. I hope we can go to the theatre again today. Anyway, come with us, we're going to go in, wash our hands and you can come and have a look at the animation. Follow me.
upon his head and friends all ran to hide. Crowns and crowns, crowns and crowns, following the steps of Jesus. Crowns and crowns, crowns and crowns, we're together with the crowns and crowns. Buried in the cave, the Lord is in the grave. A heavy stone to seal the place where Jesus has been laid. But then there comes a shake. The rock begins to break. The angels shout, He is alive. But is it a mystery? Crowns and crowns, crowns and crowns. Following the steps of Jesus. It's time to go to Crown Theatre again. Are you ready to be comfortable and have a story? Paddington decided we could deal with a treat, so Paddington made some ice lollies for his friends. What's your favourite treat? Oh, that sounds tasty. Right, now let's get our tickets. We've got one for you as well. Come on, Paddington, hold tickets. In we go to Crown Theatre. Are you ready for a treat? Paddington's made ice lollies. Here we go. Oh. Ooh. Different flavours. Oh. Paddington, you can stay with me for a bit. Oh. Ready to turn the lights down. I hope you're getting comfortable. I wonder what the story is today. Yesterday, it was all about crowds welcoming. Today, I wonder what it is. Pigeon surprise. Another noisy day in the temple, thought the pigeon. I was always told this was meant to be a place where people could have some time to think and come close to God. Here I am, stuck in this wicker basket, waiting for someone to buy me. You wouldn't believe how much this shopkeeper is asking for me. Now, I know I'm a special sort of pigeon, but am I really worth the price on my ticket? I happen to know this shopkeeper is doing well from these poor people who want to do the right thing by buying me and giving me as a prayer present in the temple. I've seen my shopkeeper's home. It's amazing. And the food he has is the best money can buy. Some of the people who come to buy from this stall look like they don't have much to eat and often I notice their clothes have holes in them. Still, 
They know coming here to pray to God is so important. They will do anything the temple bosses ask them. I sometimes wonder how Creator God feels about how they are treated by these bossy people here. One day, perhaps someone will do something about it all. Me, I'm just a pigeon waiting to be sold and let free to fly away. What's all the fuss about in the corner over there? If I shuffle about, I might be able to see, to see what's happening. Oh yes, it's that stranger who rode into the city riding on a donkey. Now, that was an exciting Sunday. It sounded like an exciting party from where I was stuck, in here in my basket. This is getting exciting. Us birds have been chatting and it turns out this stranger has spent years making people feel better and being friends with everybody, even people no one else will make friends with. He tells amazing stories. The one told to me was about two men who built houses. One man built a house on sand and it fell down in a storm. Humans, what are they like? I can't believe what I'm seeing. There's a lot of shouting and what's that? I can hear this stranger saying, how dare you do this to my father's house? It's meant to be a place of prayer. You have made it a place where people are robbed. It's about time these shopkeepers were giving something to think about. Some of these shopkeepers are grumpy. I wouldn't like to tell them to stop doing anything. This stranger doesn't seem scared at all. At last, someone on the right side of these poor families who still keep coming here to pray to God and thank him for all they have. Perhaps God sent this man to rescue them all. Look out, the excitement is coming my way. Here goes the table where our bird baskets are sat. Wow, I'm free. So are my friends. And that grumpy shopkeeper hasn't taken any money. I'm going to perch on this branch and watch what happens next. Now, that's interesting. The stranger is sitting under a tree with a crowd, listening to everything he says. Now the shopping centre at the temple has stopped. People can hear every word he is saying. If I go a little bit closer, perhaps I can hear more. That's better. Sitting here are children and grown-ups, quite a crowd. They often laugh when the stranger tells his famous stories and I can hear their voices asking questions of him. Tucked away from the stranger standing up and looking very bossy is a little crowd of those bossy temple leaders. Hmm, us birds see them in action every day and we don't like what we see. They think they are so important and really are up to no good. The stranger still takes time to answer their questions. I hope they listen to him. What's that? What is the stranger saying now? When trouble comes, Father God will help you be wise. Do not worry, God knows even how many hairs of your head there are. Well, I wonder if he knows how many feathers I have. I could stay here all day listening to this strong stranger who can teach us about Creator God. It feels like we all matter to him. Do you know, I think he just lifted his head to look at me as if he even knew I'd been here all the time listening to him. Sarah's story about Pigeon Surprise was really lovely. It was a story that helped me think a bit about how Jesus helps us to know 
the right way to go. He gives us directions. And I was thinking, Bar and I were talking, he had a compass. Did you find out what a compass did? Hmm, oh, I'm glad you know that. Well, a compass is something that shows you the way. And I think, Bar and I were talking, that that story where Jesus was with those people who weren't making the right choices, what he said helped them to stop what they were doing and change and go in, go a different way. I know now why Bar had that compass. Bar, take care of it. Well, Big Bear has made up a game to help us think a bit about directions where we're going. On the floor here, the animals have got a spotty map and they're going to move around. When Big Bear spins this, they're going to move their direction and then something exciting is going to happen. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, that means any colour card. Oh, right. Paddington, it's your turn. So you can choose, Paddington, which one you want to go to. You want to hop to blue. Okay, choose which blue. Is it that one? No. Which one are you going to go to? That one. Let's turn over his circle and see how many points he's got. One point to you, Paddington. Let's find a blue card. I like this game, Big Bear. Okay. Oh! One direction Father God gives us is forgive. Ooh, you can hold on to that one if you want. Okay, let's spin it again, Big Bear. Your turn, Pudding. Oh, it's blue. Right, Pudding, you can choose, you can't choose that one, but any, any one of those blues, which one are you gonna go for? Ooh, that one. Let's see how many points you've got. <gasps> Two points. Let's give you a direction from Father God. Okay, it's gotta be a blue one. Oh, when you are worried, trust Father God. I like that one. Pudding, you can have that. Okay, let's spin it again. Come on, Big Bear. Woo! <gasps> green. Ellie, it's your turn. Oh, you're on green. Which direction are you going to go? That way. That way. She's excited. This one. Okay. How many points? Let's give you a green one. Ooh. Let's pull it out, it's stuck. Ooh. 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 In the Bible it says, treat others as you would like to be treated. Oh, this game is brilliant. You could try making a game at home that helps you think about how Father God gives you choices, good ways to go. Are you ready to look into our special cupboard? Woohoo! We've done day one. Do you remember what we had inside the cupboard for day one? You think it was that? You're right, it was the palm branches. I wonder what's going to be, going to be in the cupboard for day two. Paddington, your turn today. Right, everybody. Are you ready? We've got a countdown from five. Do it with us if you want. Five. Four, three, two, one. Open the cupboard. Ooh. 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 <sighs> Let's put in the compass. Is it okay if padding the books in today, Bar? Thank you. It's very fresh. In. I think it's time to stop and think. Paddington, you can sit there. Actually, if you sit there, you could sit better. Why don't we all stop and think about choices we can make, which means we go God's way. Let's have a stop and think.
great day we've had at the Solomon Club. I mean, there was that wonderful story about Jesus in the temple and the pigeon who was so surprised by being set free. And we saw some lovely pictures that our friends out there sent to us on Facebook, didn't we? Yeah, Paddy particularly liked the pictures that were sent. And he's also got a question because Mary was talking about something called forgiveness. Now, Paddy isn't sure what that means. So I wonder if you could help him. If you've got any bright ideas to help Paddington understand what it means to be forgiven, he'd love to hear from you. Well, I think we've come to the end of the day, so let's close by praying, shall we? Dear Father God, we thank you for that story of Jesus in the temple. We thank you that he shows us the way. Help us to follow you in all that we do. For we ask this in his precious name. Amen.